A new arrival? Well, very nice looking one, but although retired in the 60s, it's probably quite clear that this one was a victim of a 1962 winter. It's been an old published shed for many, many years. Obviously sold very locally recently. All the original parts, galvanised ring pole. So yeah, nice night to witness system, but it is a nightmare. I was going to make a video on restoring it, but I have decided not to. Okay. The float valve being totally shot is the least of my worries. Here it is flushing. With it at the tipping point and not flushing, that is one major red flag already. Catching on the bell siphon, check. Two major things so far. Yeah, Samuel Thompson made superb flat bottom systems, but these bell siphon systems that I made for Dalton were not very good. Not very good at all. And had it was as if they never tested them when they got them sold or got them made for many years. And there are so many rectifiable faults on these, but Samuel Thompson never really took great detail of them. As you can see, there's a little crack on this side, so it's in here. This side here as well. Not the overflow, but I mean, that the bottom corner of this system. So let's try and give it a pull and let go again. Right. Look at that. I shouldn't imagine it was surely doing that when it was new, but unfortunately. Seems very likely. So it's a very severe fault on the system. Bell siphon is not tall enough for it to flush efficiently. And that's a manufacturing defect. So, so anyway, we need to hold on. System view now. It is a shame really because this is really well made, the lever, chain is really well made and the lid is really well made as well. Look now the 1960s replacement, might be really like the foot that retired. That's the face on that. Maybe it's in, it could be wrong but. And that's completely stopped. And what it's got for some reason is that quality installed. The pipe fitting it was coupled with originally was branded as Sanitor, so this, this old Portsmouth type float valve is a Woodhouse and Co. made one. So I should imagine the float ball is as well. Oh, anyway, system, you know. If you look out here, there are pinholes in the bell siphon as well. You can actually see this rocking around, a bit dip in there. But it's not really an ideal place to stand by it. I think intentionally there was a little gap for this to go, but once the fulcrum sort of wears down over the years of use, that's when it drops flat, but that is unacceptable. So, then 
Is obviously not in very good condition as well. Did swap it with this, but it's the wrong diameter. Stand high, good size, but see, it's not so I'm not too sure. So maybe even put it in a different stand high right now. Yeah. Shame really, because it looks like such a well made system, but there is so much that needs doing to it, and I will get it done because we're all Dalton, it's quite valuable. I mean, these are small things that can be addressed, but of course, I will have to epoxy line the system or maybe eventually buy some liquid metal in order to fill the cracks properly. But yeah, it's a bit of a rock box, the system, but I will try what I can for this. Especially if it's got a valuable one and it's got a pan to go with it, or an alpha. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching.